Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing the uh, Jungle Flasher version 1.88 uh, along with LT 2.0, LT Plus 2.0. I've got uh, the CK3 Pro here. Uh, I've got the X360 USB Pro. Uh, you can also just use your VIA uh, chipset if you've got that. Uh, it's just a little more convenient to move everything away from the computer. And uh, then here's my, my light on drive, ready to be probed. Uh, this is the PMT uh, with probe. Uh, we've got the, uh, the power switch here, so when I am empowering off the drive, that's what I'll be using. So, here we go. Uh, you go over to the DVD uh, key 32 tab and refresh. You're going to get uh, not found on the, the key and it's going to say drive is a light on. At this point, you're going to hit fat key and it's going to tell you to power off the drive probe the MPX01 and then power it back on. So I will be doing that right now. So I'm going to hit yes on the computer, power off, hitting the MPX, powering back on. And it failed. I'm going to do it again. Fat key. I'm going to hit yes. Power off. Probe. Power on. And there we go. That one went. So now we've got uh, the message here. Make sure the probe is removed. Power off the drive. Wait for five seconds. Power it back on and hit OK. So I'm going to power off. One, two, three, four, five. Power on, hit OK. And now it's going to save my keys. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you make a folder and save those light on keys. Always, always, always save your light on keys. And you're going to put in your uh, serial number for the box that you're doing. The uh, serial number that I'm putting in is bogus right now and then you just save all that that's going to pull your dummy and then it's going to automatically load and when this loads you're going to make sure that it says that it is LT plus 025 version 2.0 on some of the drives it will not it will go to LT 1.1 uh, if this happens all you're going to do is open target firmware and go out and browse and find that uh, that LT plus dash 025 dash V 2.0 dot bin and load that and then click the spoof targets uh, to source button and that's going to spoof. It will give you an error. Don't worry. You have your keys. Everything is fine. So worst case scenario, you can always go back. It's not a big deal. You've got your keys. Make sure you save them. Um, I've already done this on two drives that uh, both of them had errors and I had to manually uh, spoof or I, I had to go in and manually load the uh, target firmware and spoof it. So if that happens to you, that's what you need to do. Uh, so after you've done that, you're going to save file and then you're going to go over to the MTK Flash 32. You're just going to go uh, light on erase, hit yes. It's going to tell you to power off the drive. Again, if you've got the PMT with the button, you're just going to click quickly press that button. Uh, so I'm going to hit yes, hit the button really quick, come back, and boom, boom, boom. And failed. Nice. That's perfect. I love it when it fails during a, during a demo because that way it shows you what could really happen. So we're going to go back and do it again. It's not a big deal. 
Light on erase. Yes, yes. Quickly off and on. And this time it worked. Perfect. I love it when it works out like that. Okay, so that, that was great. So you can see it's really easy to, to do it again if it doesn't uh, go through the first time. Don't panic. And now all you got to do is hit right. Two failures in one video. That's, that's so rocking that it actually worked out that way. And that's it. Uh, writing the banks, reading the banks, verified okay, everything's good. And uh, we're all set. So now we just hit the, uh, the outro button. And it comes back and tells you the, the key is found, gives you the key again. And thanks, uh, see forever. Now uh, we go back over here and we're going to quickly just eject the drive and see that yes it does eject and go back in and button it up, we're finished.